in this session we'll discuss about addressing modes of 8086 processor okay now why actually we go for addressing modes the processor will get the data of the user uh, from different sources now it can it can get the data from a register it can get the data through an instruction or by an instruction and it can also get the data from the input output ports or else from the memory location so the way of accessing those operands is nothing but addressing mode okay so let us see those addressing modes which are supportable by 8086 processor <coughs> so the different ways in which a processor can access data are called as addressing modes as we have discussed now here the operand can be stored anywhere like it can be stored in the register it can be stored in the memory or it can be stored uh, in, uh, in input output port or else it can be accessed uh, directly with the help of instruction so the di there are different ways for accessing the operand so those ways are nothing but addressing modes now 8086 accesses code bytes using contents of CS and IP register as we have seen that if uh, CS and IP registers are added then we'll get the physical address where actually the uh, instructions are present okay and required instruction is present and 8086 accesses stack using the contents of SS and SP so if you are adding SS and SP then you'll get the physical address inside the stack segment okay now how 8086 access data 8086 assembly language instructions can be used to illustrate the addressing modes so for illustrating this uh, for understanding this addressing modes we'll be using uh, one instruction that is move instruction which is mainly used for copying copying this uh, source operand into the destination operand okay now how what what do you mean by an instruction instruction is a command uh, given to the processor so that it can perform a particular task which is specified by the user okay and there are number of uh, instruction formats that are present okay but for now uh, we'll just assume that instruction format or instruction contains an opcode and then a number of operand fields a number of operand fields so opcode will specify what kind of operation that the processor has to uh, perform and then operand fields there are number of operand fields like zero operand field one operand field two operand field now here we have took the example of two operand field where you can see uh, move is the opcode and this destination is one operand and source is the other operand okay so far now we'll go with this move instruction which copies the source operand into the destination operand just for understanding all these addressing modes now source of data can be so source can be uh, uh, any type it can be of it can be of immediate data it can be present inside the register or it can be in the memory location in one of the 24 different ways okay and destination can be again it can be a register or else a memory location now let us see uh, the different types of uh, addressing modes that is supportable by this 8086 processor register addressing mode immediate addressing mode memory addressing mode relative addressing mode and then implied addressing mode okay let us start this discussion with register addressing mode now here in register addressing mode the operand is placed inside the register now that register will be present or will be given as a part of the instruction okay source or destination can be one of the 8086 registers okay the original operand is inside this register and that register will be a part of the instruction okay so here 16 bit data transfer happens but whereas here 8 bit data transfer happens why because we are using only 8 bit registers here okay so this is what register addressing mode when you are placing the operand when you are placing the original operand inside the register and if that register is given uh, in the instruction then that is considered as a register addressing mode now let us see immediate addressing mode where the operand is a part of the instruction okay where the operand is directly given in the instruction itself as you can see here move al comma 45h now here 45 is the operand so which is directly included in the instruction so that is why this kind of data is called as immediate data this is called as immediate data and this addressing mode is called as immediate addressing mode okay now the processor is accessing the information directly from the instruction itself but whereas in the previous case it is accessing the information from the register so that is why it is called as register addressing mode <coughs> now let us see memory addressing mode now one of the operands is in the memory okay and 8086 must use 
a segment register as well as a offset register as we know that we'll get the physical address only by combining the segment register along with the offset register okay offset address is also called as effective address now by default we know that ds is the register used for accessing the data from the memory okay so here by default this ds will be the data segment register so those contents will not be mentioned here but coming to the offset so we have to mention the offset address or offset register okay so by default ds register 16 bit offset can be specified in many ways so this 16 bit offset register can be specified in many or different ways okay let us see what are those ways so direct memory addressing register indirect addressing based addressing indexed addressing and based indexed addressing okay so we'll start with direct memory addressing <coughs> now here effective address is specified directly in the instruction itself so we are specifying directly the effective address in the instruction okay now here uh, this value should be specified inside these uh, brackets so that the processor treats this value as a address from where it will fetch the data and that data will be copied into this bx register okay so if we are specifying directly the effective address in the instruction then it is considered as a direct memory addressing okay now here 20 bit physical address can be formed by adding this 5062 with the content of ds okay so here you can see segment register that is ds plus 16 bit offset register okay so that will give you 20 bit physical address of the operand and this addition operation or uh, this kind of uh, calculation is done by address conversion mechanism adder which is present inside the BIU block. Now register indirect addressing mode where the effective address of the operand is present in one of the base or index registers. Okay, So if you are specifying the effective address in one of these registers BX, BP, SI or DI then it would be considered as a register indirect addressing. Okay, Now here initially bx would be holding some value and whenever you place these braces around bx or any of these registers then it would be treated as address okay so this ds that is data segment is added with bx okay which will give you us the physical address that is 20004 okay and the contents which are present in this particular location gets copied into cx okay this is what register indirect okay so in register indirect we have to use only these registers and uh, they will be holding some value and if you place a bracket around those registers it will be con considered as a address okay now we'll see based addressing mode where the effective address is obtained by adding the sum of offset register along with a displacement and that displacement may be 8 or 16 bit displacement okay and here the offset register must and should be bx or bp okay and the segment register is ds or ss okay now here we can see one example move ax comma 4 uh, under the brackets bx okay now here it adds the contents of this bx with this displacement 4 is considered as a displacement okay now it will form a value now whatever the content that is present in that particular resultant value will be copied into ax register this is what based addressing mode now let us see indexed addressing mode the only difference uh, between based and indexed addressing mode is here we have to use only the index registers okay and the remaining is same but as we are using the index register we cannot go with uh, stack segment okay as uh, we are using only si or di so the segment register must and should be ds but whereas in the earlier case as we can go with bx or bp so bp is uh, will give us the offset address of the stack segment so we can go with stack segment okay but whereas here we have to use only the data segment as the segment register and uh, si and di will be giving us the offset address of the data segment okay as you can see here the value present in this si gets added with this displacement will give us the resultant value that will be treated as an address and the contents of that particular address gets copied into ax register now let us see based index addressing mode where we are going to include base registers as well as index registers along with the displacement okay so this is the example for that based index addressing mode so here si bx and then this displacement gets added and will be treated as an address 
and the content of that particular address gets copied into AX. Now let us see the relative addressing mode. So in relative addressing mode, uh, here the direct address gets added with the program counter which will give us the next address okay specifies the operand as an 8 bit sign displacement related to pc okay as you can see one example here jnc08 so if the carry flag is zero jump if no carry this instruction is nothing but jump if no carry if the carry flag is zero then this 8 will be added to the contents of pc and again stored in inside the pc to give us the next instruction address okay this is considered as relative addressing mode now implied addressing mode where uh, no operands are specified we are not going to specify any kind of operand okay and uh, the instruction will have implicit implicitly specifying one operation okay so here clc will perform a clear operation on the carry flag so that is what is called as implied addressing mode or implicit addressing mode okay and uh, in the next section we'll discuss about instruction set thank you